Welcome to another luxury home by Garabedian Properties. What I really love most about this house is when you first walk in, it's so spacious and it leads right up to the dining room, which is in the rear of the house, which is a change of pace. When we got to meet with the architect in the beginning of the process, um, I specifically said that we did not want to walk in and have the dining room on one side and the study on the other side. We wanted a unique setup and he came up with the brilliant idea of putting the dining room on the back of the house and that's probably one of the most unique parts of our house. The benefit of having your dining room at the rear of your house is that you get to appreciate the lovely view of your backyard with pool and outdoor living area. It's really fantastic. I also really like this classic element of the staircase, which curves around and makes a landing on top for a balcony overlooking the foyer. The color palette, it's really inviting, bright, different. Another great focal point, which is always one of my favorites, is the chandelier. Here we are in the family room, another beautiful room of the house. I just love it because again, it's just comfortable, inviting, and of course it has the usual characteristics of a Garabedian home. High soaring ceilings, wood beams, stoned fireplace, and the distressed wood flooring. Such wonderful, amazing elements. I gotta have them. This configuration is a great example of how we like to incorporate our, our informal or living zones into one space. Your kitchen, nook, and den all flow together. You can be in there preparing a meal, you can have kids setting the table, and the rest of the family can be in there watching television or doing the homework. We love this in a house that Mike had built, actually probably within the 10 miles from here, and love the way it flowed in terms of just having that open space that went from one into the other. This classic kitchen features twin chandeliers over the island, a large granite work surface, stained cabinetry, a decorative vanna hood with stencil work. Here's one of the most popular elements in the kitchen, grandmother's hutch. It's a large oversized cabinet built in, but it's designed to look like a piece of furniture. Next to grandma's hutch, we have the chalkboard pantry door. Chalkboard panels above and below with a tray for the chalk. It's a great place to write notes to your spouse or for the kids to write, I love you, mom. Classic kitchens don't have to be just one color. In this kitchen, we have four different cabinet finishes all within the same space. This helps add depth and character to the kitchen. This massive oversized island includes a decorative rub bronze faucet a hammered copper undermounted sink and a sitting area at the end. The gas cooktop sits atop a furniture style stained cabinetry with a classic tile backsplash with a touch of color and our ever popular rub bronze pot filler faucet. It's just a great thing to be able to take your pot, fill it up with water, drop it on the, drop it on the stove and voila, you have spaghetti come out slider. It's a great opportunity. More and more our families are asking for hardwoods in the master bedroom. Here we have a distressed oak hardwood floor, which contrasts beautifully with the light and bright walls and the decorative moldings at the windows and doors. The ceiling is a twin pop-up with crown mold at both levels, and the master fan has a beautiful decorative medallion. In sitting areas, we're having families looking for more decorative lighting. Here we've added a chandelette, which serves as a reading light and also has a decorative element for the room. When designing bedrooms for our homeowners, we always want to make sure we have plenty of room for the largest bed. The windows in this room overlook the backyard, which allows a massive amount of natural light to enter the bedroom, as well as views of the pool, the jacuzzi, the outdoor entertainment area, and the gardens. I really love this master bathroom. I love the colors, the colors on the ceiling. I love the decor in here. This Master bath features a travertine floor with decorative inlay decos, a two-person jetted tub sitting on top of a travertine deck, and a spectacular chandelier hanging over the tub. We often use jacuzzi tubs to be our focal point of a master bath. The master shower features a 3 8 inch frameless glass door, two shower heads, and it even has a bench. This bathroom has everything, from a makeup station for me to get ready in the morning, to your flat screen TV in the corner so you can get your news simultaneously. This French country home has classic architectural elements. Cast stone surrounds at the windows, clean brick lines, a turret stairwell, and a large entry with cast iron doors and massive coach lights. 
Uh, Mike has been our friend for years, and we have always wanted him to build a house for us. And when the opportunity came around that he could do that for us, it made all of our dreams come true, and um, it was just a wonderful experience. Thank you, Mr. Mike. You're welcome.